Hello everyone, we're going to talk about Mechabricks now. Mechabricks is a 3D rendering site that we're going to use to create digital twins. Now, that's a posh way of saying we're going to muck about with virtual Lego. Mechabricks is great. Mechabricks is free. Mechabricks is in your browser. What that means is you don't have to install any extra software for it. It's a little bit clunky. It's a little bit uh, slow, especially at the moment. Uh, all the world's using it, but it's free, so we can't say fairer than that. So mechabricks.com is the website you need to put into a browser. Don't try and use it in a phone or a tablet. It won't work very well. So mechabricks.com and I should say at this point, if you can't get Mechabricks to work, don't worry, don't fret. You can draw whatever it is I ask you to make and, and submit that. That will be fine. So don't don't worry about it. If you prefer to draw stuff, you can. If you want to have a go in 3D, then you're very welcome. So if you want to have a go in 3D, first thing you need to do, first put of order, let's get rid of me. You don't need to see me is to create accounts now you see i'm logged in signed in so create yourself an account remember your login details okay that's up to you to remember uh, if you need to get uh, an adult to help you then get an adult to help you but create your own account and that will allow you to save things then what you do once you're there is you jump off to the workshop and the workshop is the place eventually there we go where you can get stuff done and it's quite simple all you need to do to create something is find the sort of block you want for argument's sake this one tap it let it arrive and there it is on the screen and that's that with your mouse if you right click your mouse it'll move this plane up and down if you left click and move the mouse it rotates it you see these little arrows if you grab these arrows you can move the pieces up and down you see i put two pieces down earlier that moves the pieces around and then you can connect them on top of each other so it's as simple as that there we are like that now here's a cool button what you can do is you can take a screenshot of whatever it is you've created so if you make something and you've saved something that is how you can get an image of it to me uh, right let's jump back in here so because you've created an account it eventually means we'll leave that i don't need to save this that's what was oh you didn't see that was asking me that uh, you can go to the library and see you can see what other people have done and you can bring that work into your uh into your projects or you just jump back to the workshop this is just a super quick oh, slow super quick super quick overview you can once you've saved something well where is it so let's open it yeah that's a there's always that nag here we go here's here's some work i did earlier if you were in four well every grade last year did this so the only grade that hasn't seen mecha bricks this year of course is this year's grade four but this is what last year's grade four did oh i shouldn't have picked this this is going to take ages to load oh here it comes <laughs> Now, this is the point where you sing a song while this loads. So, this is a poor example for me to load because it's big. It's lots and lots of files. It's what several children did together, and it's it's me mashing them up and putting them onto uh, a, a stand with some lettering. So, once it's opened up, you can fiddle with it again. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, so, there they are. You can see that's, that's each component part from last year, and there's a few more in there as well. Uh, so that's people from last year. Remember down on the bottom left, there's a little camera. What's that one do? There we are. There's that little screenshot camera. We do that, and that's how you get a screenshot. Then you right-click that, and you save the image as, and you're golden, good to go. What else can I show you? All oh, right, I know what people, I remember what people would struggle with, and that's finding other sorts of bricks. So obviously along the bottom there, it's just bricks at the moment and that's good if you only want to make a world out of bricks but you can also click down down there and this little menu will hop up and it will give you choices of other things oh, I don't think you're seeing that so let's go to beams that'll appear in the bottom beams half so this drop down menu you select the sort of things so minifigs and all the various parts and things that a minifig might have. Everything is there. Every single piece of Lego that there's ever been is in mechabricks.com. So, 
have a play have a look you can't break anything create an account save your work send me a picture and i'll send xp ask me just email if you've got any questions that's all for now catch you next time